Okay, real quick, uh, Bill, I'm going to show you one more thing here. We've already gotten into our admin area. We'll go back to the main dashboard here. Click on dashboard, it'll take you to the front. And from the last video, we're already gotten to this point. So we looked at products, we looked at sales, and now I kind of just want to give you an idea of what everything else is over here and uh, just run through it real quick. So if you click on products, You'll see um, it breaks down exactly what your sales are is the first thing. Uh, products we already went through, and we'll look at that just one more time. And you can see all the products. You can delete products, so we'll delete that one there since that's a test. And then uh, we'll move down here, and we'll look at categories. And so we look at, we have, uh, these are the categories we've set up right here on the left. Uh, coastline, Big Sur, Fog Suite, uh, Lighthouse Suite, Scene Suite, etc. To add a new category, you click over here to add the new category. Now, the way the site's set up is that um, because of certain aspects of the site, I couldn't give the content management full control over all the categories. So, if you change a category, it's not going to appear on all parts of the site. So best to give me a call or email me and we can get that straightened out. So you can add that category or change that category. Probably want to leave everything for a little bit and see how it works out. And then uh, you can adapt or change in the future. Next thing we'll look at is variations. And that's what I was talking about with attributes in the last um, video. And you'll see that we have size here. Up on the left we have size. And if we click edit, we'll see... Uh, what I've laid out here on the right of all the different sizes and basically it's the 85 written right there does not mean that that's gonna transpose into the product as $85 or $105 that's just basically for presentation so it looks nice so uh, once we've edited what we want to let's say we change this to uh, 305 I won't do it but let's just say we change it to 305 when we uh, click edit, and now we've edited the variations, but we have not edited each individual product and price according to that variation. So if we click back to products after we've edited a part of this, click back into products, and let's say we're going to edit storms, and we've changed that variation down here. Scroll down, and this now it's in, let's say this one instead of saying 105 here, where I've highlighted, says 305. So we'd have to come over here and change this to 305, and then we'd come down here and click Edit Product, just for uh, presentation purposes. I won't change it here, but uh, you would change this to correspond to this. So you want this part to correspond to this part. Hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Then you click Edit Product. And also you notice down at the bottom, I probably forgot to mention this on the last video, you have the option to delete a product. Once you delete it, it'll be gone from the database forever until you put a new one in. So we'll come over here and we'll click on, uh, we looked at Variations. And we'll click on Marketing. Nothing major here. It's just kind of going to ask you where you want to target uh, your marketing purposes and that's we really don't want there's not much we want to do here just yet um, I don't think there's gonna ever be much we want to do here so we could uh, we can definitely play with some of these things uh, but for right now we're gonna leave them as B uh, now let's go over to settings so we'll click on settings. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention on the marking area is that we can set up so we can add coupons. Um, but the thing with PayPal is that they will not, um, it won't transpose over to PayPal. So really it's kind of a mute issue right now. There's other avenues we could go other than PayPal, but PayPal is the simplest and 
uh, the quickest to set up and it, for usability it really ranks number one. There's also Google um, Checkout which is very good but then constitute adding another account. So we'll just leave it simplified for right now. So we we'll click over here to settings now. Back to where I was before. Uh, settings we see we have presentation, general, and uh, right now your target market is the United States of America, USA. And we're going by the US dollar. Currency is the $100 within the front, dollar sign in the front, and we've got a base country region of USA, California. Uh, then we have presentation, which we don't need to worry about any of that stuff. Uh, admin, shape, shipping, payment options. Let's just take a quick look at the payment options. So you can see that uh, PayPal payments standard, and that's what you are set up through. Um, and then you can see the username right there and the payment gateway. So basically that's how we set up the payment option. And then uh, we'll click on checkout. And this is the information we're gathering from checkout over here under the name field. And then uh, if we uh, click on admin, we can see uh, basically it's custom messages. Nothing you really want to mess with here. The percent signs and product list is basically that it's going to grab the information on the fly. So it's uh, important that we leave that as is. And the URL settings, no need to change those. I just want you to be comfortable with the back end enough to so you know what's going on. Uh, upgrades, nothing we need to worry about here. It's just showing that I have purchased the gold card activation uh, API key for your site so that you have more functionality and uh, a little bit more power. But there is some upgrades, um, but uh, we can wait on those if you want anything you know we can integrate it but for right now I think you're pretty good with where you're at uh, especially for the time being we'll get to see what happens with sales and stuff so basically that's your back in there and uh, if you want to go to the main area just click on dashboard and it'll take you back to the dashboard eventually here and there's the dashboard and um, you can see the you know development blog you can see stuff that's going on with WordPress um, basically over here on the left we have appearance we have plugins uh, we have users we have tools settings and those are all basically come with this content management system nothing too much to worry about but if you ever did want to include a blog or any writing device or a news section uh, this allows it to be set up pretty quickly and be able and the ability for you to update and change that content fairly rapidly and kind of make it your own. So basically that's the back end. Um, if you have any questions, uh, always email me info info at maxwellrow.com and uh, thank you very much.